If you've been following this series, you may recall me speaking about allergen controls and touching on validation and verification. Let's unpack these activities in a little bit more detail. First up, let's better understand what we're actually talking about. Validation is the process of gathering evidence to prove that a cleaning regime can effectively and repeatedly remove allergen soils. In other words, it seeks to show that the cleaning regime achieves the cleaning goal. The objective of verification, on the other hand, is to prove that the validated allergen cleaning regime was performed correctly and that it remains effective. Next, when do we validate and when do we verify? Ideally, an allergen cleaning regime should be validated before it's implemented. Thereafter, it may only be necessary to revalidate if significant changes are made. For example, when new allergens are introduced, when changes are made to processing steps, when changes are made to the cleaning regime, when new processing or production lines are introduced, or when cross-contact occurred. Verification, on the other hand, is done on an ongoing basis, for example, after every allergen clean. How is it done? Neither validation nor verification should be done without completing thorough visual inspections, also called physical audits. Visual inspections are a simple, low cost and quick way to assess whether equipment is clean. When you are busy with your validation study, take the time to inspect lines before and after cleaning, dismantle equipment after cleaning and inspect their interiors, and identify difficult to clean areas and potential dead spots. The objective of a visual inspection is to make sure that all visual product soils were removed from equipment and shared surfaces. Both validation and verification are best supplemented with some kind of analytical analysis. Testing, for example, flush material, work in progress, rinse water, environmental surface swabs, or a combination of these. In episode 5, I will discuss some of the most popular allergen testing methods. For validation, it's best to use methods that yield quantitative results, meaning it gives an amount. The aim is to establish whether allergen cross-contact occurred after cleaning, and if it does, how much. Thus, quantitative results are preferred. Testing rinse water or environmental surface swabs using rapid on-site testing kits are ideal to supplement cleaning verification. Rapid kits are easy to use, portable, cost-effective, time-efficient, and suitably sensitive. In episode 5, 6, and 7, we take a closer look at the different types of rapid on-site testing kits available. It is appropriate to validate an allergen cleaning regime against a worst case. That means, for example, proving that it can remove the most stubborn allergenic residues or the most abundant allergen. The rationale is, if it is able to remove these worst case allergens, it will also be able to remove less stubborn soils or less abundant allergens. When validating your allergen cleaning regime, make sure to prove that it can consistently achieve your cleaning goal. Typically, this is done by reviewing three consecutive allergen cleaning cycles, testing the same worst case scenario, analyzing the same type of samples using the same testing method. If each data set shows that the target allergen residue was removed and no cross-contact occurred, you can conclude that the regime is valid. Before we wrap up, just a few practical tips. One, Take the time to develop a cleaning validation strategy or plan. It is best if this is a formal document describing your objective, the cleaning method, the target allergen, the sampling plan, the testing method that you will use, and your desired outcome. This will guide and streamline the process significantly. Two, don't solely focus on swabbing easy to clean smooth surfaces, rather swab difficult to clean areas. Three, Check that the rapid on-site testing kit that you want to use for verification will work in your environment and for your specific residue. This can be done by comparing rapid results with ELISA or LCMS MS results. Four, if visual food soils remain on equipment or production lines after cleaning, the cleaning regime is almost certainly not effective. In closing, 
As scientists, we know the absence of evidence is not evidence of absence. Without proof, we can never really be sure that an allergen cleaning regime is and remain adequate and effective. Therefore, validation and continuous verification is a crucial part of effective allergen management. In episode 5, we will look at the types of allergen testing methods available.